Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Jai Suki. Good morning and welcome to this Eucharistic celebration. Let's pray earnestly for the world as the church is united together much more than ever since after this pandemic has been broke out and all of us from different quarters and corners of the world are praying together uh, a com community of uh, my friends rosmanians in bangalore started a 144 hours of adoration every day 12 hours into 12 days so he also requests you to if you have any prayer intentions to be placed before the lord so it's a kind of a unite, prayer uniting all of us today. And exactly that is the theme that you will hear in the gospel as well. The Lord healing the centurion's son. Let's pray that the Lord who has brought us together as one family today may help us to celebrate this Eucharist in much more worthily. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. Let us place before the Lord all our intentions, and pray together the entire Holy Catholic Church and the whole humanity for the fastest cure of this pandemic. O God who renewed the world through mysterious beyond telling, Kran we pray that your church may be guided by your eternal design and not be deprived of your help in this present age. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Our reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, now I create new heavens and new earth, and the past will not be remembered and will come to more to men's minds. Be glad and rejoice forever and ever for what I am creating, because I now create Jerusalem joy and her people gladness. I shall rejoice over Jerusalem and exult in, her, in my people. No more will the sound of weeping or the sound of cries be heard in her. In her no more will be found the infant living a few days only, or the old man not living to the end of the days. To die at the age of a hundred will be dying young. Not to live to be a hundred will be the sign of a curse. Thus, 
will build they will build houses and inhabit them plant vineyards and eat their fruit the word of the lord thanks be to god our response says i will praise you lord you have rescued me i will praise you lord you have rescued me i will praise you lord you have rescued me and have not only really not let my enemies rejoice over me O oh Lord, you have raised my soul from the dead, restored me to life from those who sink into the grave. I will I praise will you, Lord, Lord you have rescued me. me. Sing psalms to the Lord, you who live, love him. Give thanks to his holy name. His anger lasts but a moment, his favor through life. At night there are tears, but joy comes with dawn. response i will praise you lord you have rescued me the lord listened and had pity the lord came to my help for me you have changed my mourning into dancing o oh lord my god i will thank you forever i will praise you lord you have rescued me gospel acclamation Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Seek good and not evil, so that you may live, and that the Lord God of hosts may really be with you. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus. Glory and praise to you. Jesus Christ The Lord be with you and with your spirit A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John Jesus left at Samaria for Galilee. He himself had declared that there is no respect for a prophet in his own country. But on his arrival, the Galileans received him well, having seen all that he had done at Jerusalem during the festival which they too had attended. He went again to Cana in Galilee where he had changed water into wine. Now there was a court official there whose son was ill at Capernaum and hearing that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea he went and asked him to come and cure his son as he was at the point of death. Jesus said you will not so you will not believe unless you see signs and portents sir and said the official come down before my child dies go home and sir jesus your son will live the man believed that jesus had said and started on his way and while he was still on the journey back his servants met him with the news that the boy was alive he asked them when the boy had began to recover the fever left him yesterday they said at the seventh hour the father realized that this was the exactly the time when jesus said your son will live and he and all his household believed this was the second sign given by jesus on his return from judea to galilee the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ may the birth of the gospel wipe away our sins and offenses my dear friends this today's gospel tells us the world stands in need of healing 
and very special way the Lord calls us to believe in his word. The court official had just believed whatever Jesus said. He said, go home, your son will live. He says, your son is alive in typically present tense. And the man believes him at once and goes out and he meets the good news. My dear friends, this is what challenging us today. What is our power in our, our belief in the power of the word? Let us pray the Lord who has called us very special way to intercede for the world in this current situation. May believe in the power of the word and live by that. May God bless us. Amen. <coughs> The stable you said, the stable of God of all creation, for three good of the spirit to offer, good the other book of your own spiritual food. Creation for three good of this blind to offer provide my spiritual time. Spirit and wash me and it is cleanse me for the We are yours, we are yours. Take a heart, we ask you, take a heart, we love you, take our lives, O oh, Father, we are yours, we are yours. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May we receive, O Lord, we pray, the effects of this offering dedicated to you, so that we may be cleansed from earth, old earthly ways and be renewed by the growth in the heavenly life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, the powers tremble before you heaven and the virtues of the heaven. Blessed Seraphim, worship together with exaltation. May our voices be praised, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ.
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. Giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to the held as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and bread of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Anila, Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our parents, brothers and sisters, friends and well-wishers, and all who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. But the Savior is commanded and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Lord be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of a church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with the will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. And now, God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Amen. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should end under my roof, but at least say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. The Eucharistic Lord is present before us at the altar. Now we say the spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your holy gifts, O Lord, we pray, give us life by making us new, and by sanctifying us, lead us to things eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in the love of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the intentions of the Archdiocese of Delhi, your families, your congregations, let us say together, remember, O oh, most gracious Virgin Mary, that no woe should not, that anyone who put to protection, implore your help and sudden desertion. O Slavonian, 
Inspire this confidence, I fly unto you. O Virgin of Virgins, my Mother, to you I come. For you I stand sinful and sorrowful. Mother of our God, in now sweet meditations. But in your mercy, hear and answer me. Mary, your Mother, Cuna, peace and channel of all grace. Pray for us. So, thank you very much for celebrating the Mass with me. We continue to pray for the whole world and for all of us united in prayer. Have a great day. God bless you.